Hi friends! My favorite thing to do is to teach code. And I like to teach code to everybody, no matter what their age is. When you're in pre-K through first grade, I'll usually teach Scratch Junior. I like to teach Scratch Junior because it's very simple for you to understand and it's a lot of fun to use. If you're older than first grade, that doesn't mean you can't use Scratch Junior. Give it a try. But if you find it's too easy, then switch to my lessons on Scratch, which is actually on a website. The Scratch Junior is only available in an app that can be downloaded to your Android or your um, Apple device. So make sure that you um, download that with your parents' permission, and then you can give it a try. It is a free app, and there are no ads or anything associated with it. If you are someone who um, knows multiple languages, and there is a language that you think would work better for you, if you click this gear icon in the upper right hand corner, you can choose the language that's best for you as you work on Scratch Junior. So let's get started. Today I thought we could create a new, uh, new project and to do that we click the little house icon which will bring us to our My Projects page. We're going to pick the white page with the plus sign because that's how you pick a new project. And what we're going to do is we're going to be creating an alphabet book. I'm going to give you some steps and we'll, pay, we'll create the cover of our interactive alphabet book and the first page ourselves, and then you can work on your own throughout. Okay, so let's get started. The first page here is going to be the cover of our book. Now, what do you usually see on the cover of a book? Hmm. Did you say a picture? You'd be right. Usually there's some sort of background picture besides a white background and a cat on it, right? So let's take a look at our background options. At the top of the page, you'll see the little icon that looks like a picture. Click on that and you can choose whatever background you like for your book. For me, I really like um, libraries because books make me think of libraries. So I'm going to select the library background. Now, once I've selected, you'll see it, it's outlined in orange. All I have to do is click the check mark and there we go. I've got my cover of my book. Now, Scratch Cat is standing on the table. Should we ever stand on tables in the library? No, we shouldn't. So let's put our finger right on Scratch Cat and, whoops, we don't want to delete him. We want to just drag him down to the floor level. That's right. Now, there's something else that you probably said we didn't have on books, and that was probably the title, right? We certainly need to add a title to our book. So in order to do that, you're going to look at the little circle with the ABC which is at the top of the page right next to the picture icon and click on that circle. And now you'll see we can choose what size we want our letters on our cover to be and what color. So I'm gonna click blue and I'm going to leave the size as it is and I'm gonna call this my ABC book. That's pretty simple, easy to understand. Now my ABC book automatically saves to the top of the page. And while a lot of times we do see the titles at the top of the page, this one I think I'd rather drag down to the bottom on the white because it's easier to read on the white background. So that's my first page or my cover, but I did say this in an interactive book, right? So our cover can be interactive. So let's go ahead and make our scratch cat on the cover do something interesting. In order to do that, we must go below to where we we have our scripts. Now that big white box at the bottom where it has the outline of Scratch Cat, that's where we write the script or the program code in order to make our, our Scratch Cat to do, do something. So the first thing we need to do is pick an event handler. So we'll press on the yellow button, which are the event handler buttons, and there are a number of different choices there, but I'm going to focus on two for this lesson. We'll learn about the other event handlers in different lessons. The first one here is the start on the green flag button. That means when the green flag is pushed, whatever we want to happen will happen automatically. The next one is to start on tap cat, or tap your, your character. And we may find that useful, but we're not gonna use that one for the cover. So let's go ahead and drag that green flag right into the scripts area. So now we know as soon as we hit the green flag, something's going to happen. I would like my scratch cat to jump and say hi when, when the cover or when the green flag is pressed. So in order for the scratch cat to jump, that means the scratch cat has to move. 
and we need to use a motion handler for that. So the blue blocks are our motion handlers. So I want my scratch cat to jump and you'll see we have a lot of different choices like move right, move left, we have up, we have down, we have turn right and turn left, and then we have hop. That's the one I want. So I want to attach my hop um, handler to my green flag. That means when the green flag start, when we click the green flag, my scratch cat will hop. You see that? I'll press it again. So I want him to hop, but I think I want him to also maybe say something. Maybe not say it out loud, but at least say something that people can see. So that would change the look of my scratch cat just a little. And in order to change the look of your scratch cat, you actually need to go to the purple buttons because those are the look buttons. And these are the things we can make our scratch cat do. We can make our scratch cat say hi. So let's, let's put that and let's hit the green flag and it worked. So that is the cover of our book. Now let's move on to the first page in our book. By clicking underneath the cover page, which is on the right hand side, you'll see the cover. Press the white space with the plus sign, and now we're creating our very first original page. Now, what's the first letter of the alphabet? You said the letter A, didn't you? I knew you would. So there's no A on our page, so that means we have to get an A. Now we have Scratch Cat there, which he should be there, but I do need the letter A. How do I go about creating the letter A? How do you think I would go about creating the letter A? What do you know about creating things in Scratch Junior? Something that's new. Any ideas? If you said that you would press the plus sign and the white background right underneath the cat, which is our character section, you would be correct. Now we can, we can select a character that already exists or we can make a character. I don't see any characters for any of the letters. So I think we're gonna to have to make our own letter characters. So let's go up to this blank piece right here. You see the character page that's now outlined in orange? It's blank. We're gonna create our own character by now collect, selecting the paintbrush. And now we're ready to make our own character. I can choose whatever color I want for my letter A to be. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna select that color blue. And then I can just determine how thick I want the line around the letter A to B. If I choose this one, it's the thinnest line, like this. And if I choose this one, it's the thickest line, like this. I think I like the thickest line. Now you're looking going, oh, Mrs. Miss T, what are we gonna do? You, you've got these things already here, and we need to draw our letter A there. Don't worry, you see the scissors on the right-hand side? We just touch, and the items we don't want disappear. They get cut or erased. And then we can go back to our little squiggle at the top, turn that orange, choose what thickness we want, and we can draw our letter A. There you go. When you're happy with your letter A, click the check mark, and there's the letter A. Hmm, but we have a little problem. Do you remember what I did with the cover to take the scratch cat off of the table? That's right. I just put my finger right on the, the scratch cat, who I wanted to move, and I moved him. And this way I can move the letter A and I can move them wherever I want on the page. Now it's time to make the letter A do something. So what would we like our letter A to do? Well, since we've already had the scratch cat hop, maybe we can make our letter A do something different. So we need an event handler, which means as soon as we get onto this second page, something will happen automatically. I think it's a good idea to have something happen automatically at first. So let's grab our little green flag and put it down here in our scripts area. And now let's decide what we want it to do. Maybe it would be fun to have our letter A spin around. So spinning is motion, and motion is, did you say the blue block? You're right. So there we go. Now we can grab our motion, that circle, to the left, and we can have this the letter A move one, turn a, one way to the left, or we can change the number, and I'm gonna change it to 12, because when I change it to 12, I watch what happens. The A will spin all the way around and come right back to where it started. 
So I really like that. I think I'm going to keep that just the way it is. Now, I think it's important, because it's an interactive book, for the letter A to probably say what it is. So, you see this icon here, the green one with the, with the speaker? That's you, that means sound. So I'm going to click on this icon with the little microphone, which means I'm going to be able to record what the letter A says. So here we go. If I click on that, once I hit the red button here, I'm going to record what I want the letter A to say. And when I'm done, I'll hit the red circle again, and I'll be done recording. You ready? Let's give it a try. Letter A. When I'm happy with that, I click the check mark, and you'll see I've got a new um, sound handler, and I can drag that block and attach it to the others. So now if I hit the green flag, it's going to letter A. I hope you heard that. It spun and it said letter A. So that's all you have to do to create your book. Now, if you're looking for a little bit of a challenge, you might choose to add something else to this page, like a background. You could do that. Or you could choose to find other characters that start with the letter A. So for example, if I wanted to, I could find something that started with the letter A that already exists down here, like an airplane or an apple. Let's choose apple. Uh-oh, our apple's on top of our scratch cat. But we can move the apple. Now, we have to select an event handler for the apple. So maybe instead of it starting automatically, this time we decide if you touch the apple, it will do something. What should we have our apple do? Well, we can have it do a couple of different things, right? There could be some really good surprises with our apple. Let's go to the motion block. We could have our apple move up, down, or circle, but we've already used some of those. What about the purple, the looks, changing the look of our apple? Ooh, wouldn't it be fun to change the look of our apple and make it bigger? And if I click on the two, instead of making it two times bigger, maybe I can make it six times bigger. That would be kind of fun, right? And then maybe I want to make a new recording that says A is for Apple, right? So let's click on the button for the recording and let's record that. A is for Apple. And I'll click the, the check mark and we'll drag that block now that we've created it and let's see. A is for Apple. All right. Now those are the, that's the cover and the first page. You're gonna create the rest of the pages. When you're ready to read your book and have it all complete, you'll go to the top where it has that little rectangle with like the corner pieces around it, right up there next to the house. And now we're gonna start on the first page and if we hit the green flag, let's see what happens. That was exactly what we wanted to do. Now we hit the button for the next page and let's hit the green flag. Letter A. And now if I click my apple, A is for apple. And there we go, everything I wanted it to do, it's done. Now I just have to finish the rest of it. So now my challenge to you is to go ahead and create yourself a book, see what you can do on your own and give, throw some surprises in there so that when I see you again, you can show me your ABC book and we can have a lot of fun reading them. Thanks a lot. Look for more lessons from Scratch Junior soon. Bye.